hi it's chris again from absolute shower doors you know what still one of the most popular shower enclosures if you're not doing anything crazy custom for like a master bathroom or something if you're doing hall bath kids bath or just a simple tub don't want to spend a lot of money these uh, basic sliders they still are the most functional things you could put on a tub and um, you know what nobody makes them better in my opinion in 23 years we've been dealing with this manufacturer which is Century Bathworks they're local to us here in New York they're out of uh, West Patterson New Jersey um, they just make a very fine product I, you know these big box stores can't not compete with the quality here at all and I'll tell you some of the features to look for when you're shopping for a slider. This is 3 8 glass. They are available in quarter inch, but we typically always recommend 3 8 because, you know, it's a nice thick glass. It's a heavy feel. You don't get the rattle that you get in any quarter inch, whether it's even a great manufacturer like Century or not. But um, one of the things I always hone in on in, in my 20, I'm doing this 25 years, in business for 23 is these guides down here they're good and sturdy they'll never bend break crack or fall off it just doesn't ever happen and you're lucky if you can go to a big box store and even look at one of their displays and have it still intact every time i just drop by just for uh, the heck of it i look at them and they don't even have the guides on them anymore but in in our showrooms that we have you know so many times people come in with busted guides from other manufacturers they're cracked or they break um never one of these guys and these are not compatible with the say kohler products or sterling or um, keystone or anything up at the big box stores as well so the guides are really important also safety is of paramount concern to us always up inside the up inside the roller carriage that's what houses the roller i don't know if you could see that but in each carriage is two rollers a lot of these manufacturers are still only putting one in addition to two rollers per carriage, that's four, four rollers per door. Let's not forget, three-eighths glass weighs five pounds a foot, a square foot. So a, a door like this on a tub um, is easily going to be like 40 pounds. You don't want that ever crashing down on you or any of your family members. But also up here inside the roller carriage is a great uh, anti-derailing feature that once we've installed it, you will not be able to get these doors out of there, even if you wanted to, unless you take that screw out up there. Another huge thing is when you install a shower door, I'm sure you've seen black mold on silicone and caulking inside the shower area. Um, that's because <clears throat> no matter how well it seals and it may never leak, moisture still gets behind there. And eventually it can never dry. So eventually it does turn black. There's no way to clean it because it is under the silicone. And the only way to remedy that is to scrape it off and reapply it. You don't want to be slave to your shower door. These guys have a, a really cool gasketing feature behind their jams that, that squishes into your grout joints and it makes a nice clean finish line. So you don't need to silicone down this edge here on the inside of your tub. So this is just so cool. It's so important and they've been doing it as long as we've been doing business with them. They're the only manufacturer, <clears throat> Century Bathworks is the only manufacturer that I know of and I've, I've looked around forever. These guys are great. So we silicone underneath the channel to seal it, of course, but you never have to worry about mold or anything building up on these things. You, if you need to clean it, you hit it with a sponge and you're done. So, um, I mean, that's, that's it. As far as practicality goes, these guys are it. Because on that scenario that I just told you about, that I'm sure many of you uh, at home have, um, you know what, your shower head's on that wall. You want to get in and out over here but you do want to, you know, heat up the water. You want to squeeze your arm in here, turn on the hot water, let it heat up before you get in, and then you've got to enter and exit through this side, typically. That's why, I mean, these are not as frameless. This is, by the way, considered frameless. Why is it frameless when it's got all this metal? Because this is about as frameless as you can get on any sliding door, on, on two, uh, two, two door bypass slider. Um, you need a header here to hold, you know, carry the, these, these doors, and you're always going to have a perimeter of metal, but what makes it frameless is the doors themselves have no frame around them, the towel bars go right through the glass, and you can also get these in like this uh, thickness, 3 eighths. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this has uh, been helpful to you, and hopefully you'll catch our next video on something else helpful we'll have for you. Thanks so much.